Let's get you all the updates this morning on the situation in Afghanistan. The crisis continuing to worsen. Very worrying developments over the weekend as Taliban overhauled Kabul. President okay. Ashraf Ghani fled the country with his close aides. Now, what next for Afghanistan and the four crore people living there? What will be their future under the Taliban? Former well, Afghanistan President problem. Hamid Karzai announced on Twitter that he will now be leading a council to oversee the transition of power to the Taliban. The Taliban, the Taliban are, in fact, going to impose a conservative tribal and feudal social code in the areas they control. They're not going to change their views about women's rights, about democracy and importantly about constitutional rule. Night restraints have already been imposed in Kabul. Abdul Sattar Mirzkwal, the acting minister now of interior affairs of Afghanistan, urged the Kabul residents to not leave their homes after 9 p.m. This is just the beginning, no doubt, of the dark days for the people of Afghanistan, with the Taliban clearly taking over the entire country. <laughs> is now under Taliban's control. After two decades, the medieval radical Islamist Taliban are ruling the roost once again. Amid a meltdown of the Afghan security apparatus, which meekly gave in to advancing Taliban. President Ashraf Ghani left the country for Tajikistan with his NSA hours after Taliban overran capital Kabul. Ghani's exit means that Afghanistan no longer has an internationally recognized government. Taliban rejoicing victory and relishing the newfound power. Outgoing Defence Minister of Afghanistan gave a bizarre assurance to hapless Afghans, pledging that forces will do whatever they can to protect the people. The remnant of the government said there will be peaceful transition of power. The security of the city has been guaranteed. There will be no attack on the city. The big city and the power will be handed over to a temporary third party and it is our duty to secure the city. Don't be victim of their propaganda. Kabul will be safe. Don't worry. There won't be any problems in Kabul. But fear is palpable among people who have seen horrific atrocities by the Taliban. We left our house with nothing but a few articles of clothes and that's it. We had to leave all the books, everything that my father gave me and just leave. So a lot of chaotic and mess uh, around. While the US deployed Chinook to airlift its embassy staff in Kabul via multiple sorties, India, which played a crucial role in rebuilding Afghanistan, evacuated its last remaining personnel through a special flight. Bureau Report, India Today. And let's get you this India Today exclusive. Taliban spokesperson Zabiullah Mujahid has spoken to Geeta Mohan and he said that Taliban wants peace in Afghanistan. जबीला साहब आज तक और दुनिया तक से बात करने के लिए बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया जानना चाहेंगे कि जो अभी लेटेस्ट रिपोर्ट्स आ रहे हैं कि तालिबान के फाइटर्स अब काबुल के अंदर घुस रहे घुस रहे हैं घुस गए हैं किन टर्म्स और कंडीशंस में आप के जो फोर्सेस हैं वो काबुल में घुस रहे हैं अब हमारा फौजी और हमारा खुवती काबल में जा रहा है और काबल की अमनियत के लिए और काबल के अमन के कायम के लिए अमलियात इंतहा ही इंतहा तक पहुंच गए और तमाम काबल हमारे कब्जे में आएंगे जी सोहेल साहब अगर हम गवर्नमेंट की बात करें कहा जा रहा है कि कोई इंटरिम गवर्नमेंट बनने वाला है अली अहमद जलाली उस इंटरिम गवर्नमेंट के हेड होंगे क्या ये सही है क्या तालिबान इस पर तालिबान ने हामी भर दी है नहीं नहीं बात ठीक नहीं है अली अहमद जलाली हमारे पसंद नहीं और इस बारे में हम कोई कस की भी बात नहीं करेंगे और ये बात ही प्रोपागंडा है तो आप कह रहे हैं कि अभी कोई इंटरिम गवर्नमेंट का कोई भी फैसला नहीं हुआ है नहीं नहीं अभी तक नहीं 
और अगर आप तालिबान की ही सरकार की बात करें हुकूमत की बात करें तो वहाँ के जो प्रेसिडेंट है कौन होंगे प्राइम मिनिस्टर कौन होंगे इस पर कोई फैसला हुआ है इनशालाकूमत कवी हुकूमत की बनेगा और इसके इस हुकूमत में तमाम अफगान शाहरू इन शोने उसके आपके नुमाइंदे के वास्ते में शामिल होगी और मजबूत इस्लामी हुकूमत में कायम हो रही क्या मुला बरदर वहाँ के प्रेजिडेंट अफगानिस्तान के नए प्रेजिडेंट बन सकते हैं हम अभी तक नहीं कह सकते इसमें इनशाला बाद में फैसला होगी अच्छा अभी फैसला नहीं होगा किस तरीके से सरकार बनेगा क्या इलेक्शंस होंगे आ, या फिर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव्स होंगे जिनको सिलेक्ट किया जाएगा प्रोसेस क्या होगा इस पूरे नेगोशिए इस पूरे इलेक्शन हम एक इस्लामी तहरीक है और हमारे प्रोसेस भी ही इस्लामी तरीके से आएंगे इन इस बारे में शोरा में वसीले पर हुकूमत बनेगा चलिए ठीक है आप कुछ दो सवाल और है मेरे मैं जानना चाहूंगी कि जो निगोशिएशन चल रहे थे दोहा में उसमें मेन पॉइंट्स क्या है आपका एक डिमांड था कि अशरफ गानी को रिजाइन करना चाहिए वो रिजाइन करके देश छोड़ के चले गए हैं दूसरा था कि एमनेस्टी अमरुल्ला साले मोइबुल मोहिब आता मोहम्मद नूर मार्शल दोस्तम इन सब को आप लोग माफी या एमनेस्टी देंगे या नहीं देंगे आगे चलकर कैसे कोऑपरेशन होने वाला है यूएस इंटरनेशनल कम्युनिटी के साथ इन सब चीजों पर क्या बातचीत हुई है हमारे मतलब यही है कि अफगानिस्तान में अमन आएगा इसमें हम माफी करेंगे इन कोई के भी इंतकाम जो ही नहीं करेंगे और हुकूमत के कभी हुकूमत के बने बने ना के के लिए इन हम जदोजहद करेंगे कि तमाम अतराफ को नुमाइंदी आइंदी हुकूमत में होते A lot of questions have been asked of the United States because Taliban has entered Kabul after US withdrew its troops. The Biden administration has finally broken its silence. US Secretary of State Antony Blinken has called for a peaceful resolution as well as a peaceful transfer of power in Afghanistan. We have a team in uh, in Doha uh, to do that working with the United Nations, uh, working with other interested countries including Qatar uh, to see if uh, there can be a um, peaceful Uh, resolution uh, going forward, uh, a peaceful settlement, uh, a peaceful uh, transfer of power. Uh, that would be good for uh, uh, the people of, uh, of Afghanistan to avoid further bloodshed. And the U.S. Department of Defense has released a statement on the situation in Afghanistan. Here's what the statement reads. I'm quoting out of it. At present, we're completing a series of steps to secure the Hamid Karzai International Airport to enable the safe departure of U.S. and allied personnel from Afghanistan via civilian and military flights. Over the next 48 hours, we will have expanded our security presence to nearly 6,000 troops with a mission focused solely on facilitating these efforts and will be taking over air traffic control. So the United States saying that they are working hard to ensure that all of the American citizens stranded in Afghanistan as well as allies can be pulled out at the earliest, particularly because Taliban has taken control of airports in Kabul and around. This is a concern and US is saying that we are focusing on that. Two images and an eerie rerun really of US capitulation in 1975 Vietnamese forces ousted US troops more than four decades later US marines are evacuating nationals from Kabul Afghan refugees and nationals living in other countries are having sleepless nights over the situation they're away from friends and family and these Afghans are now an anxious lot they of course want to get back to their homeland while also being worried about what the future holds for them. A terrifying Taliban terror surge. Kabul falls to medieval barbarism after 20 years. As uncertainty, fears of bloodshed and persecution looms large. The Afghans worldwide watching in absolute horror.
The refugees and Afghan expats in India fear the worst for loved ones left behind. 52-year-old Amanullah Nabizada came to Delhi from Afghanistan days ago for the treatment of his family member. He is now afraid and worried. We have to go to Afghanistan. We have to go to Afghanistan. Yes, we have to go to Afghanistan. We have to go to Afghanistan. Because our children are all there. मजबूरन जाना पड़ा हालात को लेके फिक्र हो रही है आप लोगों को जी 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 हालात खराब है जी The over 30 year long conflict has taken a heavy toll forcing Afghans to seek refuge The UN panel for refugees say displaced Afghans form 37% of those seeking shelter in India Abdul Mubeen and wife came to Delhi two days ago from Mazar-e Sharif. They are now a bundle of nerves. अभी वो घर से बाहर नहीं निकली। आज रात मजार तालबों के पास आए ना। अभी तक कुछ बता नहीं है कैसा है कैसा है। मगर जंग नहीं हुआ है। फायरिंग घर वाले कह रहे हैं आप लौट कर आओ या वो कह रहे हैं कि यहीं पर। कैबिन मत आओ यहाँ पर। अब वासन वापस मत आओ। the radical Islamists are infamous for chilling atrocities against women. No wonder Afghan women fear worst form of sexual violence, slavery and oppression. <laughs> Taliban are already seeking young women to get forcibly married to their men. सब लड़कियां जो वहाँ पे काम करते हैं अभी पता नहीं कहाँ हैं गुम हैं अपनी जगह नहीं बताते क्योंकि वहाँ पे कुछ जासूस है उसको जबरदस्ती लेके अपने निकाम में या उसको रेप करते यही दंजर है सब का और कल रात से अफगानिस्तान का वो हालत जो लड़कियों पे है वो बहुत बुरा है सब रो रहे हैं वहाँ पे जैसे मैं यहाँ पे आ रही हूँ ये सब सब वजह पाकिस्तान की वजह से है। Fear in the mind, these Afghan nationals are returning back to their country from New Delhi. Many who came just 15 days back, a month back for treatment or several other purposes. After the development taking place in Afghanistan, Taliban is captured gradually one after other provinces. Desperate Afghan refugees are now facing their worst fears safety of their loved ones back home and their own future in a country which has slipped into dark age. With Ashutosh Mishra, Bureau Report, India Today. The United Nations Security Council is going to be meeting today and discussing the Afghanistan crisis. The Indian Presidency will convene the briefing and consultations on Afghanistan today at 7.30 p.m. this evening. That's Indian Standard Time. That's when the UN Security Council will be coming together for this particular meeting. And it will be important considering the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has expressed concern on the situation in Afghanistan and has urged Taliban to ensure that lives are protected and that human Human rights are not violated. Following ruckus during the last week, during the monsoon session of parliament, seven union ministers met with the vice president, the Rajya Sabha chair, Venkaya Naidu, on Sunday. And they've demanded action against opposition members for the unruly acts of the Rajya Sabha on 11th August. During this meeting with the vice president, ministers described the actions of opposition MPs as unprecedented, as extreme and violent. The delegation also handed a memorandum to the chairman and demanded action for the opposition's unruly behavior. The final week of the monsoon session saw shocking scenes in both houses of parliament as the opposition disrupted proceedings over discussion on multiple issues such as the Pegasus snow gate, rising inflation as well as the farm loss. And the CCTV footage showed opposition MPs standing on tables, flinging files, also jostling a woman marshal in the Rajya Sabha. After her nationwide war cry of Kela Hobi, Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee is going to be celebrating Kela Hobi Divas today. The TMC will distribute 50,000 footballs to 25,000 clubs across the state today. A day ahead of the Kela Hobi Divas celebrations, Trinamool Congress had sent out a strong message through the Independence Day Parade with the Kela Hobi tableau making its way into the line of tableau at Red Road in Kolkata on Sunday. 
Kelahobe celebrations has irked BJP leaders in the state. They say August 16th was the day declared as Direct Action Day in 1946 by the Muslim League that was led by Muhammad Ali Jilla and was followed by communal riots. Apart from West Bengal, the TMC is going to be celebrating this day in BJP rule states of the country, including Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, Karnataka and Tripura, essentially setting the stage for the 2024 polls. Muslim League ka badle Trinamool League ka janam hua. Aur Trinamool League ne abhi is khela hobe ka naam pe 16 August ko sharan karke the great Calcutta killings ka khela unhone karna chaate hai. Jo aage Bengal ke liye, Bengal ka janta ke liye bhari pardamal. 